Hey everyone, this week I have a nice slow cooking video for you. I haven't vlogged in the past week because a lot of my equipment is malfunctioning and I'm just playing catch up right now. So I thought it would be the perfect time to upload a cooking video. Several people have asked me to upload one because it's been a while. So here we go. Still playing around with how I want to make my cooking videos. So many people tell me that I have a good speaking voice and people ask me to speak a little bit more in my videos. Yeah, so I might play around with speaking in the cooking videos a little bit more, describing what I'm doing, just talking about whatever, like I'm doing now. Anyways, I'll talk about this first recipe. It is coconut curry cauliflower tacos with the platano plantain salsa. I air fried my cauliflower because I want them to be a little crispy, but you don't, you don't have to air fry them or cook them in the oven. You can just throw the cauliflower into the coconut curry, put a lid on the pan and let it cook that way if you want to save some time and save some dishes. For the salsa, I had some chopped red bell pepper and I added corn, scallion, serrano pepper, the plantain, um, salt, garlic, and a little citrus, a little lemon juice. I would have done lime juice if I had lime, but I didn't have lime. I would have chopped the plantain a little bit more, but I was lazy and didn't feel like it, so I had the chunks of plantain in there, uh, but you know, tastes the same. The sauce was so good and everything tasted really well together. The, the plantain salsa with the coconut curry cauliflower, uh, the soft, warm, chewy corn tortilla. It was a wonderful dinner.
have this strong desire to grow the majority of my own food, to eat locally, to eat seasonally. At this point in my life, I can't do it to the level that I want to do it, but I can do a little bit. And one of the things I'm able to do now is go to my local farmer's market on Sunday if I'm not working a shift on Sunday. I was really proud of this meal that I'm making now because the majority of the vegetables came from local farmers. Certified organic, there's a particular farm stand that I love to go to because they're very transparent. One trick I learned when dealing with farmers to test if they're a real farm and if they really are organic and things like that is to ask if they allow visitors. I think I learned this trick from a documentary, um, but the person was saying that if a farmer is lying about something, they'll try to keep the public away from their farm. Farmers who have nothing to hide, they're real farmers, they're actually practicing organic farming and not just saying it. Those farmers have nothing to hide, so they'll tell a person, yes, we do tours, you can come, you can actually come help if you want to help because we, we don't have enough workers, yada, yada, yada. I learned that trick from a documentary and then I tried it on this particular farm stand and they said exactly what the person in the documentary said. Their response was, yes, you can come visit our farm anytime, you could actually help whenever you feel like it here's a card they were so open and that made me really confident in the quality of their produce I'm making harissa, which I believe is a North African condiment made from roasted bell peppers and spices. I start with roasted red bell peppers and I seasoned it with salt, smoked paprika, granulated garlic, a little bit of cinnamon, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and fresh garlic. I'm using my immersion blender, also known as a hand blender, to blend the harissa. And I didn't think it could handle the garlic and the coriander seeds. I didn't think it would chop it up fine enough. So I went ahead and put my coriander seeds and my garlic in my mortar and pestle. And I broke it down in the mortar and pestle to give my immersion blender a little help. This tastes wonderful. I put half of the homemade harissa in the air fryer with the onions and carrots that I chopped earlier. And then I sprinkled a little bit of harissa seasoning on top of that, mixed everything and put it in the air fryer. And then when that's done, I will cook the butternut squash because my air fryer is too small to fit it all in at the same time but that comes with tiny living. Everything takes twice as long to do, so you just go with it. So I'm gonna do the carrots and onions first, and then when that's done, I'll put in the squash with the rest of the homemade harissa, and I'll air fry that.
And here is my delicious dinner, harissa roasted vegetables, sauteed cabbage. I just pan seared some fava bean tofu and topped it all off with my dill yogurt sauce. Very simple, mostly local, mostly seasonal. Oh, this is the type of food I love to eat. I was going to make some kimchi mandu, but I told myself I'm not going to do kimchi. I'm going to give my viewers a break from kimchi. <laughs> you guys will see kimchi in every recipe. It could be an Italian pasta recipe. I will put kimchi in it somehow. So I have to catch myself and not make everything Korean. So I just did basic dumplings with zucchini and mushroom. And I seasoned this very simply with soy sauce, sesame oil, salt, and a little granulated garlic with some green onions and serrano peppers. I made so many mistakes when making these dumplings. <laughs> I just told myself, you know, I watch so much Asian cooking on YouTube I'm just going to naturally know how to make the shape that I want to make. I've seen a million people do it. I can do it. You know, I'm, I'm confident in myself, but still, I'm human. And guess what? I could not do it. <laughs> they kept ripping. I was overstuffing them in the beginning. They kept ripping. Part of the issue was that the wontons were kind of dry. I actually don't like these wonton wrappers. I don't care for the flavor of them. And maybe I had them in my fridge too long and they got old. I don't know, but they were dry and they kept ripping. So after I finally got tired of making a bunch of horrible looking dumplings, <laughs> I decided I was going to make them like ravioli. This meal was definitely a labor of love. It's time consuming to make dumplings. It's time consuming doing it in a regular sized kitchen. Doing it in my tiny kitchen took forever, but I'm glad I did it because I'm still eating these dumplings right now. Actually, when I finish this voiceover, I'm going to heat up some dumplings.
I steamed a few and then air fried the rest. I was very surprised to discover that I prefer the steamed dumplings. I was able to taste the filling more and the steamed dumplings and I preferred the rice paper dumplings. The rice paper, I just love the chewy texture of the rice paper wrapper when it gets steamed, when it's steamed or when it's air fried, even if you air fry them, they're still so chewy, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Yeah, I 100% preferred steamed dumplings over air fried dumplings. And when I make these again, I'm going to steam them. The chewiness of the outside wrapping with the chewy tofu and mushroom and savory soy sauce sesame oil oh my gosh it was so good i thought it can't get any better than this but it does the next day i tried these with yogurt i put a little bit of yogurt on the bottom of my plate with some chili oil and some more of that soy sauce mixture that i made oh my gosh that is my new favorite way to eat dumplings. Eating dumplings with yogurt. The first time I had ever seen dumplings with yogurt was um, an Afghan recipe. And they put the dumplings on top of yogurt with some kind of meat sauce on top. It looked so good. This is the end of my cooking video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, leave me any questions, comments, whatever. I will respond as soon as I can. I have not been responding to comments as fast as I usually do. But I'm hoping you all understand because I've been keeping it real in my last couple of videos. And yeah, I'm just going through stuff. My equipment is breaking. I have goals outside of YouTube that I'm working towards. I have to plan for my next trip. I'm really hoping that between June 1st and June 15th, I will be able to leave for my next van life trip. And yeah, I'm going to be traveling for a while, probably until the end of the year. If, if things go my way with finances and everything. So yeah, I just have a lot going on out here and I'm not able to reply to the comments, but I read all of them. I have already read all of them, even though I haven't hearted them or, or replied to them, I've read them. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. I will get to them as soon as I can. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.